Hey there, Pisces friends. How are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk. My name is Myra, and you can't tell, but I smell like fish. <laughs> Not a thing you should leave with, right? I was just outside grilling fish, actually. So in my previous reading, my dad sort of interrupted me and was like, the grill is ready. And it has gone, I think, maybe every a lot of places in the country, we've gone from summer to deep fall, right? So it's chilly. I live in the South, but it is cold outside. And so I just took a break between readings to go grill some fish, Pisces, and then came back in and realized it's time for your reading. So maybe that's significant, right? Maybe I'll be super in tune with your, with your reading because the fish is your symbol, right? All right. So I'm going to say a quick prayer, Pisces friends, and then get into your reading. Oh, Father, thank you for Pisces, and I thank you for all that they bring to our world, all of the love and romance and all of that good stuff that they that they bring. Um, I pray for the highest level of divine guidance for their zodiac sign. Thank you, archangels. Thank you, uh, spirit guides of the most holy, high, and divine order. Thank you, ancestors, and thank you, Jesus. Okay? All right, Pisces friends. Well, let's get into your reading, my dears. Um... Please like, share, subscribe. Um, when you comment and subscribe, I add you to the free reading raffle that I do. Every 100 subscribers, I do a free 30-minute recorded reading raffle. All right, it says, do something for someone, Pisces. Give your attention to another. Okay. Wow, very nice. Nurturing energy. Um, it's a 41, which breaks down to a 5, which is about life changes. And then this says miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. And look at the fall leaves. Well, this could be a really significant and beautiful time in your life, Pisces. Okay. This card from Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection says, There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. The only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow. Okay. And then change is always good. Actually, the only effective way of changing another person is by changing yourself. Works every time guaranteed, though I'm kind of partial to the way you are right now. So these colors are looking a lot like the crowning chakra, the chakra crown. So I feel like some of you could be trying to figure out something. Um, I am going to just get into your overall energy, you guys, for your reading. Um, I am doing a special. The October special is $10.19 for October 2019 for a three card spread um, past present future plus one advice card and clarifiers okay that is a recorded reading so if this does not resonate for some reason uh, it could be uh, and this is for Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus if for some reason um, that doesn't resonate then you have a personal reading option that is very affordable okay so Look at you at the center of your reading, Pisces, the moon. You are smack dab. This whole thing is about you. This whole, the essence of who you are as a Pisces, okay? Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, totally. Okay, that's amazing. This happened to... Aquarius. Was it Aquarius? Oh, it happened to Capricorn. First card out was their card. So this means you have to watch this reading. Okay. Um, and you guys know the full moon is in Aries on Sunday. So your intuition could be on fleek. Like you are totally tapped in. Maybe the, I mean, it's just an energy full of miracles and blessings. You are in your 
vortex in your highest energy. It is like your hands are out and ready. Either you're giving miracles and blessings or receiving them. Okay. Um, express love through gifts is also underneath this card. So I think that goes along with this do something for someone. Okay, so some of you are being encouraged to express your love through giving. Your crossing energy is peace. Number 13 breaks down to a four, which is about structural infrastructure, basic human needs kinds of peace. Okay. I feel like the it's being grounded because you are so in tuned, maybe intuitively being grounded could be tough. Okay. Um, you know, I'm thinking about that. I think it's a cliche. I don't think it's a scripture, but it's like being so heavenly minded. You're no earthly good. It's sort of there, but we'll, we'll see what comes out. What is at the base of this reading for my Pisces friends? So what I was saying about the full moon in Aries, you guys, now the moon is your sign. It's a feminine energy, um, speaks to being emotional. Sometimes hidden, hidden emotions will surface with the full moon being in Aries. It, you could be, you could feel like initiating or starting something with Aries as the first sign of the Zodiac. So you could, um, have some things come up where you are wanting to do something different where change is absolutely good. You could be wanting to make positive changes and initiate something. Okay. What is at the base of this reading? Thank you. Okay. Seven of Ariel, which is about having made wise investments and starting to see things grow. It is a slow moving energy earth energy capricorn virgo or taurus and it is um about patience it feels like a, an attraction you know the moon brings out um i've never been into the farmer's almanac but what it made me think of is there is something there's a connection right and those of you who garden or farm will be able to articulate this better than me but what i'm sensing is that in the moonlight in the essence of who you are these when you're in the very essence of who you are pisces things begin to grow like and before you know it you have you look out and there's this field of, of fruit coming up or you start to see progress you start to see the fruits of your labor. I'm getting chills. It's like um, when you are truly in the essence of who you are, it's like your energy causes things around you to just grow. So even in the moonlight at night, sometimes we don't realize there's still activating powers there. There's an attraction that the moon has. There's energy that the moon has that causes things under the surface of the earth to grow. And I feel that kind of energy there. Um, there is a queen of Gabriel here, which is fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, and then the ace of Gabriel. So I feel like there's definitely some passion, drive, spontaneity. This is about, uh, it feels very lustful. It feels like raw attraction is what I'm getting. So you could have, could be dealing with a fire sign, but it's raw. It's raw attraction. Something is definitely growing, Pisces. Something is definitely growing. What is the recent past for my Pisces friends? Recent past is change your life. Another major arcana, number sixteen, which breaks down to a seven, which is about. Um, aligning with your higher purpose, a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination. Oh yeah, the seven of pentacles can speak to procrastination too. Pisces, thank you universe, thank you Holy Spirit. Yes, don't procrastinate. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. 
So there could have been a major shift in your life in the recent past. Um, some of some some new passions could have come up. Inspiration, passion, um, the gift of illumination, wonder. What is the crowning energy of this reading? For my Pisces friends and cross watchers, welcome. To those of you trying to find out what's go find out what's going on with your Pisces people. Crowning energy. The star, Aquarius, a dream come true. Believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation, another major arcana. You have four so far, Pisces. I just feel like there's a lot of changes that are coming underneath the surface or at night. The star, right? All those things shine at night. So I just feel like Pisces, sort of when you're in your element, when people are sleeping or things seem dormant, there's a lot going on. You shine the brightest when there's some, when it's dormant or dark. See, even in that card, it's changed your life, but it, the setting behind it is rather dark. So not dark in a shadow way. It's more like you shine best, maybe in a crisis, you are... Um, a light yes you are a light when things are dark for people go ahead universe I know that's right yeah the gift of inspiration yeah I could totally see that I think you you guys bring peace to people now there's another major arcana here it came out in reverse which is the chariot is cancer energy now typically when the chariot is up like this it's victory movement making a choice um people seeing all of your accolades i feel like it's in reverse because you don't want people to know all the things that you're doing i think it's i, I feel like it's a silent victory like it's you don't want people to see you shine you don't want people to know all of the changes that are going on and the impact you're making that's what i think and the knight of Raphael is here which is love coming in this is also your energy cancer pisces scorpio but it is love coming in love coming towards you someone wants to sweep you off your feet or this is what you would like to do but i feel like you guys want to do it quietly you don't want a big hurrah in the middle of the day like dun, 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 like a horse coming in you want to do it with all, all the pomp and circumstance very subtle um but you are shining bright pisces what how does pisces see the situation holy spirit how does pisces see this situation please i feel like people are are looking to you pisces to bring peace to a situation um another major arcana the strength card yeah you all are showing up in this reading as extremely strong like people you have this magic touch um the ace of gabriel keeps showing up pisces this is the gift of inspiration um an opportunity a chance to do something amazing definitely a sense of wonder like you guys have that miracle wonder thing going on with you guys like you have the ability to change things sort of it's very mystical very mystical energy um but it's you have the gift of inspiration this is six major arcana pisces significant changes in your hopes and fears is the queen of gabriel which is about being courageous not worrying about what people think um it's it's definitely raw attraction um 
it's more carnal, not as spiritual as, as your essence of the moon and the star, but it's definitely the ability to attract things and people to you. Um, and there is, so you could be dealing with a fire sign that wants to offer you love. It could be in the beginning stages. You're not quite sure what to think yet. And then your outcome, the two of cups, soulmate energy, Pisces. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, your intuition is so high, Pisces. Like the high priestess, that's almost, is that seven? three, four, five, seven major arcana. Like you are in your freaking element right now, you guys. That is so crazy. So there's a card here that says most people are just trying to survive. And I feel like people are, and you guys come in with this very, and I don't, don't take this literally, but it's almost like a Jesus-like quality. Like people who are hurting and like, you know, Jesus might walk by, touch somebody and keep going, but he didn't want people to know that he did it. And he would tell them, don't tell anybody that I healed you. Don't tell anybody about me. And people just couldn't take it. They were like, I have to tell people what you did for me. And it, it's it's that kind of energy. I got chills. It's that kind of energy. Pisces, like people seeking you out because they need your help or you're realizing you guys have this gift to pronounce miracles and blessings over people's lives. Okay, so what is the moon card? An eight plus one is nine, which is about identifying with a divine purpose, Pisces. I mean, some of you definitely have the gift Okay, so the moon is being clarified by the two of swords and see how it's nighttime and the moon is there. This is a card about indecision, being indecisive. Okay, and the Prince of Cups is here, which is, this is a very mysterious energy. Um, there could be, you could be feeling not at peace about something. Um, this is a very mysterious card. Try to decide if someone is good or bad. Okay, as we read here, the only difference between a friend and foe is you decided where love can grow. You haven't, you can't figure this energy out. That's why you have the two of swords. It's like, I don't know what to think yet about this person or situation. Then the queen of cups is here. Um, this is a more mature, nurturing energy, right? Very generous, also highly intuitive. Um, I feel like it's wanting to give before you're ready to. You could be wanting to give to someone before you are ready to give. And then there's an Ace of Swords here, which is a gift of clarity and communication. So you could be wanting to, I think timing is everything I'm getting in this reading. So Pisces, it's not, it's about timing, the right timing, not what you should say or how you should say it, or if you have the emotion to say it, it's about the right time to say it, right? Um, for change your life, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, the gift of clarity, the gift of speech. Two of Pentacles is clarifying the star card. Um, you could be paired up with an Aquarius. You could be bringing healing to a situation or there could be healing coming to a lot of juggling or feeling like you have a lot going on, making it look easy, but it's really a lot. And then clarifying the chariot in reverse is the Eight of Swords which is someone walking away versus someone coming towards you. So it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But someone is feeling like they don't have any options. Um, you have the strength card again, which is literally having the strength, Pisces, to endure this. Could be dealing with a Leo. I think you can bring healing to this situation, Pisces. What is the strength card? The devil, Capricorn energy.
So Pisces, what I'm getting is, is it possible you were overbearing in a situation? I also feel like there's a high priestess here, which I feel like is also your ability to maybe detect toxic behavior. And then there's a star card. And I feel, and you could have the ability to bring, these are both major arcana, healing to a situation through your intuitive or psychic abilities. People who are, are going through addiction or things like that. Um, it takes a lot of strength to move through that scenario. It could be you or someone else. And then there's a judgment call. So some of you could literally be answering a call to bring healing to people through your intuitive or psychic abilities. And the lovers is here, which is a Gemini card, um, which is about choosing something that's choosing you. Right. And then comes wish fulfillment. These are huge and major cards, Pisces. You literally, or you have a breakthrough in love, find your soulmate. It could be a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Capricorn. What is this Ace of Gabriel, please? So this, this mysterious person who shows up in your life, Pisces, I think you're trying to figure out their energy um, with this devil card here. I just feel like, and they could be wanting to escalate things rather quickly to the next level. And you could be slowing it down, like hold your horses, which is why the chariot could be in reverse. Um, someone could be wanting to escalate something fast and you're like, mm -mm, and your guidance is sort of encouraging you to slow down, right? Get balance. You, you definitely have the gift, Pisces, to see intuitively what's going on. Something could have just jumped off really fast. Like, I'm also getting to, like, flooding when someone just gasses you a lot and fast. And they come into your existence trying to sweep you off your feet. You're talking good, but it's something not quite gelling about it. Um, the Ten of Cups is here as, like, a lot. this person could be real emotional. Could be a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, but someone who's very, very emotional, could fly off the handle a lot. Um, and the Two of Cups and Four of Pentacles here, which is being grounded and stable. All right, and at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles, which is a golden opportunity. So for some of you, that's a golden business opportunity. I'm going to read this, do something for someone else. I'm, I, I feel like I need to do that. All right. All right, Pisces, it says, when you do something kind for someone, you create an opportunity for your relationship to be re-energized. How can you be considerate towards someone today? Insignificant things can have a big impact. Imagine how amazing your life will be when you are consistently doing kind and loving things for others. Do something for someone. It does not need to be someone you are close to or that you see every day. You might choose to do something for someone you don't even know. Just choose someone and do something nice for them. There are so many ways to act with kindness. Open a door for someone who has their arms full. Greet everyone you see. Never underestimate the power of a smile or a positive attitude. Put extra change in a parking meter. It doesn't take much to change someone's day. And then change is always good is here. So I just feel like you guys have the ability to impact your environment greatly. Okay. Nature's child lovingly pets a rabbit while other animals gather around. Rabbits are a signifier of compassion. They remind you to look inside for the tools you already have. The deer is here to emphasize limitless kindness. Take a moment to consider how wonderful it is to give to someone. Brightening someone's day is a wonderful experience. Hmm. 
Excuse me. Pisces, I just feel like that, you know, that Queen of Cups energy is very benevolent and loving and generous, but you cannot give what you don't have. And I just feel like timing is everything. And someone could be trying to rush the process. But I feel like, Pisces, you slow it down some. Like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I totally think that. And then miracles and blessings. Sorry, guys, I don't have my glass. Number 13. All right. It says everything has its gift. You drew this card because there are many miracles happening in your life right now. The angels are asking you to look at how things are. Look again. You will find that your life is filled with miracles and blessings. Reflect on who you are and your journey to this point, Pisces. Recognize and accept the blessings that have occurred in your life. Situations that were not ideal brought their own gifts and lessons. Your existence began with a spark of a miracle. Continual blessings and miracles continue to show up in the smallest of ways. Be willing to receive these gifts. An ethereal goddess with flowing hair reaches to catch a leaf from the various leaves floating near her grasp. Hair can represent thoughts or reasoning. Check in with your self-talk and beliefs. Are you open to a miracle? Be ready for the unexpected. I feel like you guys are, there's some energy here, even that just looks miraculous with that Hierophant card there and the Ace of Gabriel is something new and miraculous is coming in for you. Totally. Hmm. Really interesting reading, Pisces. So I feel like for some of you, you have the gifts and ability to really help people out of tough, toxic and stressful situations. They're looking to you for guidance. Some of you have been inspired to a higher calling, wondering if this new path will be fulfilling for you. Or is it fleeting? It's sort of like, does it last or does it not? But I feel like this new passion, whatever this is for you, is grounded. It is stable. It can be trusted. Okay. All right, Pisces friends. Um, give me, I was going to say, give me a call. Book a reading if you need more clarity or insight on your situation. Um, very high intuition and insight in this reading, Pisces. It's pretty freaking amazing. Okay. All right, guys, I love you dearly. I hope this was a blessing to you, Pisces. Click uh, the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload videos, you guys. Love you dearly. Take care.